Hey guys, what's up, people? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good afternoon, everyone. What's up? Can you guys all hear me and see me clearly? All good. Hi, Shubhi. Hi, Shreyas. How are you doing? Hi, Darshini. Hi, Devarvita. Good afternoon. Hi, Anushri. I am okay. How are you guys doing? Welcome back. Hi, Suraj. Hello to you too. What's up, dear? Welcome back, people. So, welcome to today's session. This is going to be the question paper solution of what basically uh, the exam happened on 4th of April. So, we're going to be discussing all the physics questions that was asked from, uh, you know, in that what wala question paper. So, welcome to the session. How are you guys doing? All feeling good? Yo, what's up? Can you guys all hear me and see me? My health. Uh, do not know them. I'll get to know the result today. Today evening I'll know uh, what is the problem. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the session guys. Hi Manaswani, hi Gautam. Welcome guys, welcome. There's not much of you guys over here. Uh, understandably so because we have exams, exam preparations and all that. So let's get started, shall we people? Good afternoon to you too. Good afternoon to you too. Aman, what's up? So I wish you are, uh, you are in your pink health, uh, peak of your health. Uh, dude, I, unfortunately, uh, I'm not. I'll get to know. Anyways, I'll uh, know the good news or bad news by today, 6 o'clock. I'm hoping that it's negative. But yeah, anyways. <sighs> welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Hi, Vridhi. Welcome, guys. Please take care of yourself. How to react him for what exam? Do not worry, Gautam. You can uh, go to the uh, registration and select the other four day, other two dates as well. So that's an option. You can actually do that. There's no, uh, there's no uh, hard bent rule that you can attempt it only once. You can attend all the four weeks. So there's no such, uh, you know, there is no such uh, hard and bent rule on that. All right. So you can chill out and uh, prepare for the next two exams as well. I'm good, I man. How are you guys doing? Hopefully, 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 da. Hopefully, hopefully. Anyways, so my name is Anam. Welcome to the session. What question paper and solution? Are you guys ready, people? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Yes, da, I did. I did. Uh, by today, I'll get to know. By six o'clock, they told that I'll, I'll get to know the results. Unfortunately, my relative uh, is positive. So, uh, and I was in the hospital the whole day yesterday. So apparently, even I'm exposed to it. So that's why I had to take the test. Anyways. Sad life. So, people, shall we get started? I hope we'll get, uh, we'll get started right now. Now, before we start, guys, can you guys quickly let me know which part of the country you guys are from in the chat box? Quickly let me know which state are you guys from. Don't tell me the district because obviously I am not uh, a geography teacher and I will not know most of it. In fact, I don't know which are the districts in our state itself. So, please let me know which. Maharashtra, South of India, awesome. Proud of that, Arif, proud of that, awesome, Shay, is good to know, Sikkim, awesome, awesome, neighborhood, awesome. is it, oh my god, take care, take care, Kerala, Kote, <laughs> good to know, Anishri, yes, Uttar Pradesh, Bangalore, Kutch, Are amazing, amazing, so there's a lot of people from different parts of the country, thanks a lot for joining today's session, guys, welcome, so first of all, guys, let me just give you a quick backdrop, a quick backstory before we start solving the questions, now, we all know that 2020 was a really hard year right it was hard for you guys it was hard for us it was hard for everyone all around the globe in fact it was a uh, majority of your 90 percent of you guys were not able to get the you know the full extent of the knowledge that you were supposed to get when you are in your 10th standard or 7th standard or 8th standard, whichever grade you're currently in because of all you know because of no sessions because of uh having online uh sessions and all that on zoom and google meet and all that it got a little hard and it was really a challenge for you guys to understand the concept and you know make the best out of the solution but you guys did the best way you could you came through and now it's 2021 but we don't want 2021 also to be the same, right? We don't want the same thing uh, next year as well. So we at Vidantu have taken a pledge to make a comeback so that 2021 is not going to be the same as 2020. And that's how the whole idea of what that is Vidantu online talent examination came into existence. Now, what is what is not some random examination that we just put down and then we're just marketing it? No, it is a way for all of us to come together and get through and truly understand what is our level of understanding of the concepts that we have studied in the previous grade so we can better prepare ourselves for the future. That is in 2021, 2022. 
what is the type of preparation that we want that is what vote is all about now this vote is actually said to have said to have happened for four uh, saturdays or four sundays four weeks basically two of them is already done 28th of march is already done we have done the detailed explanation of that you can check that out if you want to better prepare yourself today is going to be the paper discussion of 4th of april wala question paper you have two more chances so all those who did bad or you feel like you can do a little better you can always take the other two days as well 11th of april and 18th of april that's the next two sundays to prepare yourself and you know give another shot at it there's no uh, again as i mentioned before there's no need for you to panic you can still take the test how many ever number of times you want so what exactly is what so you have an in detail uh, subject wise chapter wise topic wise even question wise analysis of every single question you have all india rank state rank uh, you know question levels question wise rank all types of rank to better understand what is your level of understanding right now and yes you have a guaranteed scholarship whoever takes up this will get a scholarship but how much is that scholarship depends on you guys depend on how good you perform in the test and the pool of that scholarship is a pool of 500 crores that's a lot of zeros added on to it so that we can better help you guys to prepare yourself for the future for whatever challenges that lays ahead and you also have some amazing daily challenges which help you which would help you to win some exciting prizes i'll come to that also later and the grand prizes this guys you get to be the ceo of vidantu for one full day and get an all expense paid trip to nasa that is there in the united states of america so lots and lots and lots of amazing things are awaiting for you guys this is the grand prize you get to be the ceo vidantu you have lots and lots of daily prizes like microscopes and vr glasses and uh, gaming laptops and telescopes and uh, you know alexa alexa google home what not everything is available for you guys so yeah today's daily prize uh, today's daily challenge is also actually a google mini home this is what is wait are waiting for you guys so you can just open up the app register yourself and take up those challenges and get a chance to win it so yeah that's pretty much it now i'll tell you how to register about all of that later on now let's solve some questions let's take a look at what kind of questions were asked in the previous vote exam so you can better prepare yourself and you can like, you, know, you can get an idea of what kind of questions you can expect in the next uh, you know upcoming exam as well so people are you ready are you people ready So how does the vote exam mark? I think you'll you'll get that in your uh, dashboard itself. Da. Once you register, no, you'll get it, get that in the dashboard itself. Within a uh, couple of, uh, I think within a week or two, you might be able to get the uh, result. Don't worry, so don't worry about it. Yeah. So shall we start, people? Are you guys ready to solve some questions? Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you the answers directly. I want you guys to tell me the answer. I'll read out the question. I want you guys to give it a shot. See if you're able to solve it or not. I think you will be because these questions are pretty straightforward. But then. Uh, it it's twisting. That's all. It's a straightforward question, but it's twisting. So here's the first one. Rio looked at her reflection in her father's shaving mirror, which was different from an ordinary mirror. She noticed that when she held it close to her face, her reflection looked enlarged and virtual. But then when she stood far away from the mirror, her reflection looked real and inverted. What kind of mirror do you think the Uh, the person is holding options is it a plain mirror a concave mirror convex mirror either concave or convex uh -huh. no is priyanshu concave pakka everyone how many of you guys are saying concave anyone with convex anyone with convex one time anyone with convex two times anyone with convex three times na nah. sold to concave yes people the answer is concave mirror it's a why concave is guys because you know that see a concave mirror can form real like uh, you know virtual images can form uh, you know inverted or erect images or enlarged or uh, you know uh, diminished as well so if the object is kept further away like let's say that the object is kept beyond uh, you know beyond the center of curvature then the image is going to be formed between the center of curvature and the focus you guys already know about it and the image is going to be diminished as in, uh, yeah because it's going to be diminished real and inverted whereas when the object is kept very close to the mirror that is uh, between f and uh, you know the i would say uh, the pole in that case the image is going to be enlarged virtual and erect so because of that guys you can say that it's a concave mirror and in convex mirror you're always going to get a virtual image which is diminished and it's inverted so yeah it's erect sorry and in plain mirror you're always get the image uh, which is of the same size 
it's going to be uh, the size is also going to be the same the distance is also going to be the same and it's going to be a virtual image so from this you can come to the conclusion that it's a card game simple question right moving on to the second question is this is the ray diagrams you can check it out if you want to so this is when the object when the person is standing further away that is beyond uh center of curvature the uh, image is formed between the center of curvature and the focus and in this case when the object is kept between focus and pole the image is formed as a virtual image second question here we go Arab's grandmother wears a spectacle to aid our vision. The spectacles have a combination of two types of lenses. One lens is placed at the bottom of the frame and the second lens occupies the remaining space of the frame as shown in the image below. Based on what we see here, which visual defect does Arab's mother need uh, help with? Is it myopia, hypermetropia, presbyopia or color blindness? Let's go, let's come on. This is a question that uh, pretty much all of you guys must know. Uh, especially this is something which was given in your uh, human eye and colorful world. But unfortunately, a part of that is not even there in your syllabus. Again, this is something that all of your seniors would especially know. So I don't know about you guys. Let's go, guys. Come on. How many of you guys know the answer for this one? Come on, people. Why is no one answering? Only Atul is answering or what? Everyone is asleep. People, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. What's happening, da? Wake up! Only Atul is answering a word. Atul is answering for the entire class. Atul represents everyone a word. First, I thought it's convex. No, 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 it's not convex. The previous one, no, it's not convex. In convex, so always you'll get a, a, a you know, a diminished and virtual and uh, erect image. No, always. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, exactly correct the answer to this question. Congratulations, Atul. Only Atul is answering. So Atul and David with also finally David with also answered. Yes, the right answer, guys, is press myopia. Myopia is nothing but near sightedness, where a person can see what's nearby but can't see what's far away. Hypermetropia is, is called as far sightedness. That is, a person can see what's far away but can't see what's nearby. Now these are especially you know uh, these are especially worn by people who are you know aged so basically basically as you get older and older your uh, eyes do not have uh, you know the power of accommodation you guys know about it like you know you can't see what's close your eyes are not able to uh, you know adjust the focal length for you to see what's far away neither can you see what's nearby so these are basically reading lenses so these are the reading lenses that you see over here and these are things that are used to see far away so yeah it's basically press myopia where you are both nearsightedness and farsightedness you can't see what's nearby also you can't see what's far away as well and this is especially for people who are little aged okay because you know generally for young people it's not that common but for people who are you know your grandparents and all that you might be able to see these kind of specs is what they were all right moving on to the next question people all right uh, don't see the answer next one Ritika decided to make her own solar cooker for upcoming science exam exam sorry exhibition at her school smart kid she made the cooker with white colored metal box mirror in the inside and a, ma a matching lid as well she poured some biscuit batter into the tray and put it in the solar cooker and closed the lid she left it out for an hour but to her dismay the batter was still raw it did not work what part of the cooker should Ritika change to make the cooker work properly options these are the four statements that you have the four things that she could have changed one is replace the metal lid with glass lid second replace the white color metal box with a black one uh, open in one side of the metal box or replace the metal box with a plastic box which of these do you think is the right answer is it both one and two two and three three and four or one and three let's go people exactly energy but bifocal yes 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 is this for icsc this is for voda for icsc cbsc uh igcsc for everything Whatever, uh, what is that? Cambridge syllabus for all of that. This is for everyone. Let's go, guys. Priyanshu says one and two. Gautam says two and three. Uh, Akshita says one and two. Anyone else? Priyanshu one and two. Atul says B, that is two and three. Atul J, you're supposed to represent the entire class. Devvida says two and three. All right. So, majority of you guys are basically confused between first option and the second option. But if you ask me guys, the right answer to this question is actually option number A. Because see guys, first of all, you can uh, see using a metal lid would not serve the purpose because what would happen is that the metal container will itself absorb majority of the heat. So the heat energy does not actually get through to get, get inside the box. So that is one thing, all right? And the food would not cook. Or uh, even if it does get in, it might not reach to the required temperature. So what would happen is that the food would not cook at all. But instead, if you use glass lid, this glass lid would mimic your greenhouse effect and basically keep the entire box warm. That is the first thing. 
Second is that, see, white color is a good reflector. So what would happen is that white color does not absorb any light at all. So what will happen is that all the light that falls on it, all the heat energy that falls on it will automatically get reflected back. That is the thing about white, uh, you know, white color. But black on the other hand, you guys know that black body radiation, black objects are very good absorbers and very good radiators of heat as well. And hence what will happen is that when the sunlight falls, the black, if the box is basically black, it will absorb all that heat and cook the food much more faster. And actually you would be able to see that the cooking of the food would happen. Whereas if you use a white colored box, a majority of the light gets reflected back and hence the food would not get cooked at all. I guess makes sense people is it all good so can you please tell which part of the book will come most in the exam uh infinity which one uh in what aspect in what uh, context are you talking about or which exam are you talking about your people is it clear so far all good guys everyone quickly give me a quick yes in the chat box uh is it clear so far yes yes uh, so okay please send the ppt sure 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 naman i'll see if i can do it up i have another recording right after this so i'll see if i can do it all good yeah people that's what i like to hear interesting questions no super easy done. all super easy but then at the same time you know it's quite interesting as well so here is another question guys uh taken from uh this is a question that everyone should have must have definitely done it the question is this your friend ravi tried convincing his parents to buy a television set without much success all right they were of the opinion that it would consume too much electricity ravi showed you on his laptop the television that he wants to buy he noticed the television you notice the television he would consume a power of 60 watt and ravi had promised his parents that he would watch the tv for 1.5 hours can you help ravi convince his parents that it would not make much difference in the electricity bill amount by finding the difference that the installation of TV would make on the electricity bill for a span of 30 days, assuming that the electricity is charged at 8 rupees per unit. Options, is it 2,160 rupees, is it 21.6 rupees, is it 1,500 rupees or 15 rupees? Let's go guys, let's go, let's go. Yes, I hear exactly. This is like, this is the next level question that we were all expecting. So go ahead guys, quickly let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. So this is the question people in simple words, they've given you what is the power, they've given you what is the time taken. And they've also given you what is the cost of, uh, you know, the electricity or electrical energy per year, per unit. All you have to do is find out the cost. Let's go, people. No, Arre, come on. How could you not know this? Everyone must solve this. Everyone must solve this. So I'm going to put it over here. It's okay. So first of all, guys, find out the energy consumption. So energy consumption, energy consumed is what power into time. Power is given as what? 60 watt time. He had promised his parents that he would watch the TV for 1.5 hours. So 16 to 1.5, how much is that? 16 to 1.5 is what, guys? It's, I think it's around 90 watt hour. If I'm not wrong, it'll be around 90 watt hour. So 16 to 1.5 is 90 watt hour. Now, this is one day's energy consumption. 90 watt hour is one day's energy consumption. And you are supposed to calculate what is the energy consumption for the whole 30 days. So multiply this 90 into time taken, which is nothing but 30 days. How much is that? Uh, 9, 3, 27, so 27,000 watt hour is what you have. Now, this is 27,000 watt hour. Convert this to kilowatt hour. What is that? Divide this by 1,000, which is what? 2.7 kilowatt hour. Simple. This is what is one unit. One unit is nothing but one kilowatt hour. So if eight rupees is the cost of one kilowatt hour, what is the cost of 2.7 kilowatt hour people? So what is the total cost? Total cost is what? 2.7 into eight, which if you multiply, you'll get it as 21.6 rupees. That's all. That's all people. That is the answer for this question. How amazing is that? Now tell me this. How many of you guys would have watched the TV for only 1.5 hours? First of all, this whole question itself is a gimmick. Because obviously when you tell your parents you will tell 1.5 hours, then you sit for 5 hours straight. This is fact. This is absolute fact. And on top of that, if if your parents don't you know, agree that they will buy your TV, you will not be able to convince them by telling the cost. No. 
you will cry you will cry for 3 days you will not eat food food for 2 days and then finally when they accept it you'll start eating food this is what is going to happen at every house but because it's a question we're going to assume that this is what happened and finally he was able to convince the parents and he lived happily ever after that's all oh is it okay i'll let you okay <laughs> few more days but anyways guys the right answer to this question is 21.6 rupees that's all it's uh this is the uh you know and again that's a question that is taken you know you you can expect these kind of questions uh what to say the same thing is there for your boards as well so it's not something different it's not something out of the box it's the same exact question asked in a different manner but it's the same exact thing all right next one is when the electrical uh sorry when the electrician visited your house for a certain repair he suggested changing the burnt fuse wire with an ordinary one in the main fuse box however your parents immediately refused the suggestion and asked the elect electrician to replace the fuse with a new one and not an ordinary wire why do you think your parents said this options an ordinary wire is more expensive than a fuse wire a fuse wire is more expensive than an ordinary wire an ordinary wire melts easily when heated while a fuse wire does not or a fuse wire melts easily when heated while an ordinary wire does not let's go guys come on come on come on yes cookery lecture yes sure no, why not that's actually a good idea it's actually a good idea da huh? cooker lecture that's actually a good idea i like it if you guys are interested let's do why not so yeah well, let me know what is the answer guys come on come on come on don't watch tv ya huh? all right there with all right i believe you yes guys the answer to this question <clears throat> in 5 4 3 2 1 yes it's option number d guys because see one of the major quality or one of the major reasons uh for using a fuse wire is that a fuse wire has very low melting point and very high resistance all right so these are the two criteria that has to be filled up in order for you to use it as a fuse wire now generally guys a fuse wire's melting point is somewhere around like for example general uh, like generally the fuse wire that you use is actually a alloy it's actually an alloy of lead and tin and the melting point of this is around roughly around 200 degrees celsius that is the melting point of a simple fuse wire where is if you were to replace it with copper wire for example let's say that i remove the lead tin wala alloy and uh, replace it with copper wire copper's melting point is around 1026 degrees celsius something around that it will be around 1020 something around that change where is 200 and where, where is 1200 where where is 1020 there's a massive difference right that is why when you replace a fuse wire you have to replace with the fuse wire itself you cannot replace with an ordinary wire because ordinary wires have generally have higher uh what to say um uh, uh you can say that it, it has higher uh melting point and you that would not serve your purpose as a fuse wire that's why all right guys so that is the answer for this question last question for the day people this is also a super amazing question trust me like uh, you know you guys would love this question the question is this during a live simulation uh, session at vidantu the master teacher showed the class a simple circuit consisting of bulb and a battery he placed the copper strip in between the circuit the teacher then asked what do you think would happen if i place a magnet over the copper strip just like this one. you can see this horse ship uh, the horseshoe magnet is this is the uh, iron sorry the copper strip i believe this is the copper strip and yes you have a horseshoe magnet that is kept uh, in between the copper strip or uh, over and below the copper strip what do you think would happen when the magnet is placed inside the circuit options there will be no change whatsoever the copper strip would move away from the magnet the copper strip would move towards the magnet or the bulb will get fused let's go evil thank you thank you let's go good evening dolly ji what's up arun arjun singh see anushree also see would move towards the magnet all right how did you come to the conclusion like what what is the basis of your answer tell me that also what is the basis of your answers as well tell me that as well don't just give me a b c or d na. tell me what is the basis like on what basis did you guys give me the answer inki pinki ponge jay mata ji what is the what is the actual reason that you guys went to the option b c tell me that also reno is going with a why a uh, reno why do you think a would be the right answer why or why c arjun tell me why c why c dev with a why 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 that is the question now what is uh, i mean c is c is correct but why c why not anything else why couldn't you go with option a b c d or yaar anybody can dance i know yeah yeah why not kirti jay anup day please don't now please don't make it uh, please don't make it a deal now <laughs> exactly correct guys exactly correct right. actually now well done now well done exactly guys it is the living standard 
Now you guys know that according to Fleming's left hand rule, if you extend your thumb, your index finger and your middle finger such a way that they're all perpendicular to each other, the uh, thumb represents the force experienced by the current carrying conductor. Your index finger represents the direction of the magnetic field and your middle finger shows the direction of the current. Now look at this carefully. The current, the, since the copper wire, uh, the copper wire is placed this way, the current is flowing this direction, in this direction. All right. The magnetic field lines are moving from north to south pole. So basically, it's like this, right? So north to south pole, this is the direction of the magnetic field. So what is the direction of the force experienced by the conductor? It is going towards the magnet. That's how you find out the answer. And that's how, guys, the answer is option number C. If you want, so this is basically the explanation. So this, uh, an easy way to remember this is father, mother, and child. Father basically is the force. Mother is nothing but the magnetic field. And the child is nothing but the current. So if you use this, so you can see that it moves towards the, uh, the magnet. So that's the answer, guys. That's all. Simple. That's it. Easy peasy question as well. <coughs> In the hand rules, huh? exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, guys, so yes, people, so that was the last and the final question. I hope you guys enjoyed the questions. Uh, it's quite easy, but then again, uh, it's just that they have twisted the questions and asked you in terms of application and non in, not in terms of directly asking you whether the answer is correct or not or whether uh, you know state the obvious that's not what they've done over here so if you guys are comfortable if you guys are thorough with your basic concepts then this is as easy as it gets so how do you register yourself for all those who are still wondering how to register for vote it's quite simple you can download the Vedantu app and register yourself over there so these are the links these are the telegram group links as well you can check it out uh, if you want to join the telegram group and check out all the latest information and this is also the website that you can visit in order to register yourself so once you register guys so what you get is basically so this is how this is the uh, website so wbdnt.in slash vdnt caps 910e is the uh, the website so once you click on it you will be able to get the uh, voter id so create yourself a voter id that is basically uh, you know you put down your basic information so check checklist both these days that is april 11th and april 18th attempt both the exams you have enough time to provide, prepare yourself even if you do the first one bad it's okay you can still take a chance on the second one so you can always do that as well guys and yeah there are a lot of exciting prizes like i told you uh, lots and lots of exciting prizes from uh one plus eight t i believe that is to uh you know uh, amazon stick and all that to xboxes lots and lots of exciting prizes are waiting for you guys so you can check it out and yes that's it all the very best for you all of you guys Good luck for your vote and good luck for your exams. I hope your preparations are also going parallelly. It's not that you have to spend all of your time in vote. And since you're already preparing for your votes, this is going to be quite easy. So you don't have to worry much about it at all. And it'll definitely help you guys uh, to understand what is your level of understanding of the concepts as well. Right? So that's it from my side, people. So whatever doubts you have, you can let me know right now and I'll try to clear as many as I can. All right? <coughs> uh gaming light uh, yada yeah, magnetic effect of electric current is there it is definitely there <clears throat> electromagnetism reduced uh yeah no, i mean you don't have motor and all that no? they have removed it right so yeah it's uh the syllabus has been reduced quite a lot no this year so yeah just check it out uh, you'll be able to find it out go to uh, go to the cbc website you'll be able to find out all the details that you need uh, uh download it keep it with you refer to it because understanding what is your syllabus is the first important step towards preparing better. What is the point of studying things which are not going to appear in your exams? You'd be wasting your time. So understand the syllabus first and then go ahead. But for all those who are moving from 9th to 10th, there's no change in the syllabus. It's going to be the whole thing. Whatever was taught for your seniors, not the, what to say, not the 2021 batch who are going to give your exams now but your 2019 wala batch whoever gave the exam no whatever they had you guys would have the same 2019-20 they'll have whatever so it's the entire syllabus for every single subject for people more from 9th to 10th people are going to give your board exams right now for them it's reduced but for all those who are moving from 9th to 10th it's going to be completely different all right it's going to be the same as before yeah sure they put check it out don't worry don't worry don't worry uh model <clears throat> do i look like one Yes, 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 Kathy Dalpila. So for ICC, ICC, I think electromagnetic. Yeah, yeah. For ICC also, it's already used now for both. One's called Abhishek sir. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. Now. I don't think it's possible. Abhishek sir will scold me if I call him in the middle of the session. 
I don't want to get scolded right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so yeah, that's it, people. That's it for today. Then, ah, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, I'll also go get some rest. So, uh, my throat is already starting to feel a little bad. Uh, I don't know if it is just uh, you know if it's just in my mind or if it's actually the case. But nonetheless, I feel very uneasy today. But nonetheless, guys, thanks a lot for joining. Uh, today by six o'clock, I'll get an order. That's what they told. They told twelve hours. I took my test at uh, I believe around nine o'clock. So they told that I'll get the results by six at least. So yeah, that's it. Anyways, guys, thank you for joining. See you guys in the next one. Take care of yourself. See you all soon, people. All the best for your vote. All the best for your final exams. Do well. If you need any help, any favor, let me know. I'll try to do that as well. Thank you for joining. Catch you guys later. Have a great evening. It's all right, Dhanush. Don't worry, da. Don't think like that. First of all, that is the first thing that you have to do. Stop thinking that you're bad at something because the more you tell yourself that you're bad at something, you will be bad at it, even if you're good at it. So first of all, stop telling that. You are bad in physics. You are bad in math. Stop telling yourself that. Start saying that you know you are good. So when you have that, because right now you are telling yourself subconsciously, you are telling yourself that even if I study, I won't understand it. That's what you are trying to tell. So don't tell yourself that. That's the first thing I want to do. Stop telling yourself that you are bad at something because when you do that, automatically, no matter how much effort you put in, you will not be able to do it at all. So first of all, remove that thought. Start slow. You still have one one month time. You still have one month time. That's more than enough to prepare for physics. More than sufficient to prepare for this uh, for the syllabus, especially since the syllabus has been reduced. So start from the basic stuff. Read your textbooks. Make notes. Refer to your past year question papers. Solve as many questions as you can. And yes, uh, every once in a while, if you feel like this chapter is hard, you'll find lots of videos on uh, on YouTube. Check it out. See which. Which topic is that you are feeling hard? You will be able to find some ten-minute videos and all on those syllabus on that particular topic. Watch it, understand it, make notes out of it, and refer that. That's all. It's as simple as that. There's nothing that uh, that is stopping you because everyone has the same amount of brains. Everyone is getting the same knowledge also. It's just that you are physically and mentally restricting yourself from getting where you want. So stop your telling yourself that. All right. That's all. Sure, 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 Dana, sure. I am happy. I'm happy that uh, at least I was able to change your mind. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot. Uh, good luck, Dana. Don't good luck. So don't worry anything about. Don't tell you which was subject it is. Don't take. Don't worry about all of that. Make sure that you tell yourself that you're good at it. That is the first step. Once you remove that mental blockage, everything will happen. All right. So don't worry about it. Yeah. So yeah, no, good day. Good day, people. Good day, then. Thank you for joining. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Shah Devita, thanks a lot, da. Thank you for all the kind wishes. See you guys soon. Thank you, Kirti. You too, da. Take care of yourself. You too, Devita. Thanks a lot, da. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. See you all in the next session. Have a great evening. I, I think I'll come live tomorrow as well. So for ICC students, calorie metry will be doing one shot. So be there, all the ICC students. I'll catch you guys then. Take care. Bye bye. Bye, Mini. <laughs> Hi, Mini. Bye, Mini. Bye, bye, Dad. Bye, Gautam. Take care, Dad. See you all in the next session, guys. Take care. Have a great evening. Bye, bye. Good day.